Hello, everyone. Dr. Vicki here speaking to you from the Seeds to Transformation Healing Center. It's time for Taroscopes. We're going to be doing the Taroscopes for the sign of Virgo. That's Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, Virgo Rising for the month of April 2024. I just want to make a quick announcement. I have been getting quite busy thanks to a uh, visit uh, on both Jen Lynn's channel and Susan Lynn's channel. Um, I am very lucky with Lynn's, it seems. And so I have gotten quite a bit busier with readings. And so uh, my time to do these taroscopes has dwindled a bit. And so what I've decided this month is I will do the astrology of the month. I will mention all the signs in that video, but it's going to be separate from the t from the, uh, the tower readings uh, this month. And I'll see if I can get them back uh, next month. But um, I have to see what kind of time frame I'm also teaching. And so between readings and teaching and doing these videos, um, right now there isn't really enough time in the day. And uh, I have to sleep at night. So <laughs> I'm not one of those. I do need my sleep. So uh, I'm going to be doing uh, the uh, astrology in a separate video. You can keep uh, your eyes peeled for that. It will be the video for uh, April. It will be the video for April. So we're going to look at the tarot for the sign of Virgo. And I will talk a little astrology because I can't help myself anyway. Virgo, of course, is a Mercury world sign. And what do we have at the beginning of the month but a Mercury retrograde? The Mer Mercury is in um, in uh, Aries. It's at the end of Aries. It goes retrograde, I think, as far back as 17 degrees of Aries, and then it turns direct. And so it's in either in retrograde or in the shadow of retrograde, and it's always in Aries, in, in, in Aries the whole month. Um, and so that is uh, something to consider. You are a, a Mercury world sign. And when Mercury goes retrograde, um, you have to be even a little bit more uh, perhaps detail oriented than, than normal. It's easy enough to uh, uh, come up with, you know, have, have issues. Um, Want to make sure you dot your I's and cross your T's and do all that stuff. Very, very important. Um, all right, so that's that. Uh, but let's get right down to the reading. Uh, I'm using the uh, modern spellcasters deck for uh, for you guys this month. We do have an eclipse, of course. The eclipse is on the eighth. It's a new moon eclipse. It is uh, a solar eclipse total. It is going across the country, creating these X's from the last couple of eclipses that we had. X marks the spot in America, I guess. And now uh, we'll see how that manifests itself. But be careful out there. Eclipse energy is very difficult to predict. Um, and it always brings in change. And usually the change comes pretty quick. So uh, we are definitely in a new paradigm. And these paradigms are shifting uh, a lot consistently. Sorry, let me see if I can get my... There we go. The magic of the hand. Um, it's a, uh, it's it's, it's a, it's time. It's a time of change and change that is needed. So, it's all good. So we start with the chariot. So you are on the road. You are on the road. This is about really sort of moving. Your life is moving quite fast with this. Uh, and the chariot also indicates uh, the soul coming into incarnation to do the work uh, through the personality, to do the work of the soul. And so you are on the road, you're you're moving. You might actually be on the road this month. So if that is you, know that you are on the road. Let's see what's, uh, okay, so we have the King of Swords here. Uh, so things are moving fast, but the King of Swords reminds you that uh, you watch the speed limit. You gotta watch the speed limit. This is the, uh, the cop of the, <laughs> the cop, the judge. Uh, legal issues. And so for those of you who are uh, running away from something, legal legal is there. Uh, for those of you who might be going a little too fast, we have to remember, go by the, go by the, the speed limit here. So watch your speed. 
And, and of course you do have Mercury is retrograde. And so what you normally might be able to get away with, uh, you have to sort of slow down, I think. Underneath it all, we have the five of cups. This is a time of mourning, uh, but it's also a time of taking uh, what is left and moving forward from it. Okay, so it's important to uh, to feel the feels as it were but it's also important to continue on your journey. Um, no, no, no use crying over spilled wine, although I did have a delicious wine with dinner today. And if I had spilled it, I probably would have been upset. But uh, all right. Um, we have the seven of cups in the past. This is about decisions and choices uh, that were perhaps unclear. Uh, perhaps there was some illusion and perhaps that's what this card is about. Um, what you thought you had or what you thought you were getting ended up not being, and maybe ended up being smoke and mirrors and it's been a little bit difficult for you. But um, take those cups up and continue to move on. Let's see what's in the sky. Oh, new opportunities coming for you. New opportunities in the sky, new potentials. So whatever losses you make, I think you'll be able to, to overcome them. We have the Queen of Swords in the immediate environment. The Queen of Swords is the queen who uh, knows, has good judgment. So you're going to need to exhibit some good judgment. No no sentimentality here. Uh, the, the cards are indicating that they want you to move away from sentimentality and move to more mind sort of making decisions from from your mind and from your your sort of mind's eye, as it were. Okay, let's see uh, how it's seen from the outside. You you just have too many irons in the fire. You're too burdened. You're not seeing where you're going because you have too much. Uh, you've overpromised, or you're used to running around like this. Let's just say, um, Virgo, life doesn't have to be this hard. Life doesn't have to be this hard. Let's see your domestic situation. We have the five of pentacles. So there's there can be some uh, feeling of um, you're maybe concerned about, uh, maybe uh, you you feel like your, uh, your home is at risk in some way, maybe because of the decisions and what you connected yourself to in the past. Okay, let's see your hopes and fears. Um, the five of wands, this is a funny five of wands because they're all like, they're all like whacking at this wasp nest. They don't realize what they're getting themselves into. Um, maybe that's the situation that you're coming out of. Don't beat yourself up for that. We all have lessons to learn. Even the most careful of us doesn't always make the best decisions. The outcome is the victory card. So no matter what, no matter what you've done in the past and how much it's cost you and how much anxiety it's wrought for you, you are victorious in the end. And and uh, maybe it wasn't so much. Um, the fault doesn't, I feel like the fault doesn't lie in you necessarily. Maybe the fault lies in you trusting the wrong people. And it's a lesson. And so you learn the lesson. You will come out victorious. And then the next card is the emperor. So you will become not only victorious, but you will become more of a leader in your own life. You'll be making your own decisions. You'll have your own dominion. I like that. Sometimes we kind of have to go through these challenging periods um, where uh, there's a loss or there's a uh, we trust the wrong people and, and we pay for it in, in different ways, but it strengthens us. It, it Don't let any of that, if that is the case, and this is your reading and you, you're, you're aligning to this, don't let your past, don't, don't beat yourself up for mistakes. Um, life is full of lessons. And as long as we learn them, we will, we are supported. And even if we don't learn them, we're still supported. So um, don't beat yourself up. Uh, this is just a step in how perhaps how not to do it before you realize how to do it. 
All right. So that's what the cards say. I don't know what any of that means for you, Virgo, but that's what the cards say. So um, again, no beating yourself up. The past is the past. Uh, there is new potential available for you, remember. And so if you're too busy beating yourself up for something, you won't see the opportunities that are being offered uh, to you. Again, with Mercury retrograde, make sure you double and triple check the details on things uh, before signing anything. Other than that, I think uh, lesson learned, and I think you're going to be fine. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please like and subscribe if you would. If you'd like to support my work, you can give me a thumbs up. That's one way to do it. Share the video if you know a Virgo who needs to hear this. Um, I do do personal readings, as I said, but I am getting busier. So if you're interested in that, they're a combination of astrology, numerology, and Kabbalah. They are either an hour or an hour and a half if it's your first reading. I do prefer the extra time because we do go over a lot of material. All things are recorded. All things are done uh, on uh, Eastern time. So when you see the appointments, those are Eastern time appointments. Um, and uh, anything else? Anything else? I think that's it. I mentioned Patreon if you want to support me. Otherwise, I'll see you next month. Have a wonderful month. Be careful out there. These eclipses can make things very erratic. And slow down if you're going too fast. Uh, slow down, you go too fast. Do, do, do. Feeling groovy. I don't know if that's the way that goes, but it's my new song. So that's the way I'm singing it. Take care, everyone. Namaste.